As we close the book on the year 2013, these are some of the moments we'll remember. In January, cyclist Lance Armstrong confessed after years of denial that he had used performance-enhancing drugs. Yes. To win the Tour de France again and again. Armstrong blamed what he called his win-at-all-cost attitude. In February, a 10-ton meteor packing the power of an atomic bomb exploded over Russia's Ural Mountains. The resulting sonic blast shattered windows in a nearby town and injured 1,100 residents. March saw white smoke at the Vatican in Rome and word of the election of a new pope for the world's Roman Catholics. Jorge Bergoglio from Argentina became Pope Francis I. His election followed the resignation of Pope Benedict XVI. On April 15th, two crude bombs exploded near the finish line at the Boston Marathon. Ripping through a crowd of runners and spectators, three people were killed, more than 260 were injured. In May, actress Angelina Jolie revealed that she had chosen to have a double mastectomy after learning that she carried a gene mutation, greatly increasing the risk of breast cancer. In June, Edward Snowden sent shockwaves around the world by leaking thousands of classified U.S. documents he had access to while working at the National Security Agency. The documents exposed an unprecedented program of surveillance of Americans and U.S. allies abroad. Snowden was later granted temporary asylum in Russia. With renewed happiness. It was a boy for Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge in July. Prince George Alexander Louis is third in line to the British throne. August brought grim images from the civil war in Syria. The government of Bashir al-Assad was accused of using chemical weapons against its own people and killing more than 1,400 men, women, and children. In September, a small band of Islamic extremists opened fire at the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi, Kenya. 72 people died, more than 200 were injured. The federal government's health insurance website was launched, though just barely, in October. The computer system promptly collapsed. It took until just a few days ago to get most of the kinks worked out. Last month, Iran's President Hassan Rouhani agreed to curtail his country's nuclear program in exchange for lifting economic sanctions, raising hopes for a new era of cooperation with Iran. And earlier this month, the Federal Reserve announced that it will start to cut back on its purchase of Treasury bonds because the economy is getting stronger. At the same time, the stock market soared to record highs, up 25% for the year. Things seem to be looking up as we head into 2014.